They're very beautiful. So yeah, this Carmen um, doesn't even want this masculine for real. Even if she married him, she wants revenge on him. She also wants revenge on the divine feminine for wanting the divine masculine. Okay, you guys are rivals from a past life or this life. But she wants to punish the divine masculine and the divine feminine, okay? And she also wants compensation from this masculine. She wants him to pay for everything, okay? And she's banishing the divine feminine out of his life intentionally. And also, um, she's telling him time to say goodbye to the divine feminine, okay? She's uh, trapping him, trapping his energy, Okay, trying to make him fearful, putting thoughts in his head about the Divine Feminine, literally here. Okay, so he may want to protect himself. I'm seeing that he uh, feels forced into a marriage, okay, but also rejected at the same time. I'm seeing 111. Okay, so he's feeling rejected energetically by this karmic, okay? Something is telling him that something is off okay so she's saying yeah I'll, I'll marry you or i want to marry you or you need to marry me but at the same time she's rejecting him behind closed doors or talking to him really funny putting him down you know that kind of thing basically making him feel rejected energetically by her okay making him feel incompetent not good enough everything like that putting him down okay so, yeah, with this time to say goodbye and farewell card, she's saying, yeah, you need to say goodbye to the Divine Feminine. You need to say goodbye to your friends, your family, your old lifestyle, your children, um, you know, anything. She just wants him to say goodbye, okay? Literally. And she's scheduling appointments for him and her, whether it's the traveling or this and that. But she's scheduling all these appointments. And, you know, um, even signing his name, forging his name, I'm seeing 222, I'm hearing uh, forging his name, okay? Something about a balcony, something about, I'm seeing him go off to like a restroom, she's answering the phone and making demands, okay? And then um, getting him faded as well and making demands, something about a social event. She wants him to be at some social event and you know they're taking pictures at this social event type of energy but um i feel like he's secretly using this karmic for something okay i'm seeing secret help or he's secretly asking you to help him or asking a higher power to help him out of the situation there's a lot of revenge here okay a lot of revenge type of energy is taking place let's see what else i can see Yeah, so every time he gets ready to um, go somewhere, like, um, could be his children's birthday party or, you know, somewhere, event pertaining to his kids or his family, she'll say it's not the right time. She got all the type of excuses on why he shouldn't do this, why he shouldn't do that. Oh, I thought you were done with the divine feminine you know um it's the end of that situation or she's trying to close out a cycle where she doesn't want him talking to his family or talking to them any any kind of way if it has nothing to do with her she wants him to play hide and seek with his own family okay or previous friends before she came into the picture she's trying to defeat the divine feminine at all costs okay and she's trying to defeat the divine masculine as well yeah, you make me feel insecure. So she's feeling insecure around him. And, you know, she wants him to feel insecure. If she can trap him away from his away from his family. And I'm seeing 444. I can't make this stuff up. Okay, so she's, you know, making it seem like she's the divine feminine and you know she's the good one she's the one with the good fortune however 
ever since he walked into her life, it's been nothing but destruction, literally. Okay. Sad is happy. Happy is sad. So yeah, she she's able to cause illusions. She's able to convince this masculine that sad is happy and happy is sad. Up means down and down means up. This person is an op. He can't even see that she's an op, okay? But I really think he is going to start to see the light. Yeah. So, there's something called the cupcake man or the cupcake woman. The karmic is a cupcake woman. She's sweet, but she's crossing her fingers behind her back. That's a cupcake woman. I'm in love with a stripper. Okay. So he's realizing that, I don't know why, it says I'm in love with a stripper, but he's realizing that she's prostituting. Okay, she's putting a whole lot of um, thoughts into his head, trying to make him think that if he goes anywhere near you, that um, there's going to be some sort of destruction here. Okay, and she's convincing him that you're a bad person. And she's got some secrets on him. Some are deep, some are dark secrets, or she's trying to make it seem like she got secrets on him, or she's trying to make it seem like things are going to happen a certain way based off of her influence over him. Yeah. And something about him giving into certain situations, these contracts, contracting to an apartment, a house, a car, you know, shared bank accounts, shared car notes, shared this and that him investing into whatever she wanted because of that financial investment if there's some type of manipulation and control taking place okay it's giving him all kind of problems here and i'm also seeing there's um a family member of hers that this divine masculine um invested into yeah so there's a project that her brother got going or something of that nature her uncle her brother her dad the divine masculine is associated with that as well so they got him trapped in all kind of all kind of traps trapped in a trap house <laughs> yeah three of pentacles i can't make this stuff up and this is not really what he wants because I feel like he's been influenced or forced into something that he truly does not want. He's trying to figure out how to get out of that situation here. Okay, but he's the only one who can break free from that. I'm seeing 757. Talk to you soon.